So this is a tarot and oracle card reading for Capricorn. So if you have Capricorn in a major chart placement, this reading could be for you. If you don't have Capricorn in a major chart placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus, this could still be for you if it showed up on your homepage and or you felt drawn to it. Either way, this is a general collective reading, not a personal, so you still need to use your intuition to know if this reading is for you, and if so, what parts are for you. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, right? This reading is timeless. So that means that it shouldn't matter when I create the reading or post the reading. What I believe matters is when you found the reading. That's when you were supposed to find it. That's when it was assigned for you from spirit. So I'm going to start off using this Arrows of Love Tarot. Give it a blow and knock on it to get rid of any energy from past readings. Spirits, what does the person watching need to know? What is this reading gonna be about? What is the first message you'd like to say? Or what is this reading gonna be about today? one wants to come out here. What is this? Justice. Laws of karma. So you have some justice coming in. Lady Justice, Lady Karma is going to come in and set the record straight. Balance out the scales. So if you did good things in your past with regard to whatever the situation is, you'll get good results and vice versa. So you'll get your, your rewards if you put in a lot of hard work or if you did good things. Whereas if you did negative things, you might get uh, negative consequences. But in this case, you know, lately the readings have been kind of talking about rewards coming in, but let's find out. Three of keys, cooperation. So this karma involves somebody cooperating with you, maybe in the past where there wasn't cooperation, things are going to be more balanced between you and somebody else. I don't know if this is a love situation yet. We just have three of keys, cooperation. Now we have, uh, Ace of Arrows coming out here. So stimulus, the key word here is stimulating. So this involves some kind of interaction that will be quite stimulating for you. So that's nice. So Ace of Arrows would be like Ace of Swords. Okay, so in my regular deck, that can also be Clarity. So maybe a situation that wasn't very clear, you're gonna get Clarity. Somebody's gonna wanna cooperate with you. Um, collaborate with you. It's going to be a very stimulating situation here, a very stimulating interaction. You might have felt stuck in this situation before, but there's going to be movement now. Maybe you did, had a decision to make and you didn't know what to do, or maybe they didn't know what to do, but you're going to be coming out of that energy to a more collaborative energy, more cooperative energy because of this justice card coming in here. Um, you know, that's about balancing the scales. That's about like closing off one cycle and going into another. So you're probably closing off a karmic cycle, which was there for learning lessons or um, clearing karmic debt, but you're going into a new cycle where you're gonna have like rewards. So it's instead of being the stuck energy um, where things might've been difficult between you and this person or people, um, maybe there was arguments, maybe there was, you know, somebody being stubborn, maybe there was somebody ghosting, um, breadcrumbing, I don't know. But it's going to go into a new phase where this person or people are going to be wanting to cooperate with you. And like I said, um, with this Ace of Arrows here, you might get clarity in this situation, whereas in the past, maybe, you, you know, you were stuck and you didn't, maybe you felt, felt um, blind to the situation. Because oftentimes in my other deck, that card is somebody who's blindfolded and can't see the truth and things need to come to light, but you're going to have clarity and um, the Ace of Arrows, the Ace of Swords in my other deck can also be like victory and success. We do have the star card coming out here and the keyword on this card says renewal. So something's going to be renewed here. It's going to be a renewed sense of, I don't know if this is a love situation and a renewal of a love situation or if this is, um, you know, like business or friendship. I'm not sure. But the star card also, you know, there is a heart on here. So this is probably a love situation. We'll see, see what else comes out. I mean, you can still use your heart with friends, right? You can still love people, um, maybe not a romantic love, but so the star card though, kind of tells me that this is like your destiny written in the stars or part of the bigger picture, part of the plan. 
when you came down to earth, you kind of, spiritual people believe, you know, you kind of write out a script of what your life will be, uh, or at least the major events. And so this, whatever you're going through with this person, yeah, recovery here, recovering a situation, recovering, I don't know if this is love or if this is a friendship or business, but you know, where there had been maybe fights in the past, there's gonna be cooperation, renewal, recovery. You might need to go ahead and spend some time, you know, meditating is also what this card could be saying or just resting and recovering. But I feel like this is more the situation here. The relationship is gonna be recovering. And like I said, the person you're dealing with or people you're dealing with will be very cooperative. Uh, whereas in the past, like I said, you have this stuck energy. So we have master of arrows here. The keyword here is discipline. So obviously, in order to bring this situation to fruition, you have to stay disciplined. So if this is a love situation, that probably means you have to set boundaries and stick to them, okay? If this is a work situation, then maybe they're just saying you need to stay consistent with your efforts because there's some kind of a discipline needed here. So like I said, if it's a love situation, maybe you just need to be disciplined with yourself and not like cave into this person, stand your ground, that kind of thing. So master of arrows, what would that be? So arrows would be um, swords. So master, would master be king of swords? Maybe. I don't know if it's, you know, page, knight, or king. What would the master be in this deck? But the keyword here is disciplined. Um, this guy is in a business suit. So, I mean, this could be, this very well could be a career reading. It doesn't have to be love. Although, like I said, the star card, there's a heart there. But that's just one card. So some kind of situation here where karma's coming into play, balancing out the scales, you're gonna get your reward, you're gonna get your just karma. You're gonna get your justice. And there, whoever you were dealing with in the past, whether it's one person or multiple, will be more cooperative. You will be having stimulating interactions. Where you were stuck, there will be movement. You guys are recovering either this love situation, this career situation, or friendship. I don't know. But there's also a need for you to be disciplined. So if you need to set boundaries with somebody, or if you needed to in the past, you need to stand your ground, stay disciplined. If this is a love situation, same thing. If it's a career situation, it could mean that you just need to keep working consistently, stay disciplined. So take it out resonates with you this could you know sometimes spirit does like me to keep these readings general because they might mean something else to other people we'll just keep pulling and find out more nine of keys self-reliance so that's i feel like that's what you need to be disciplined about like there are these people coming in that are wanting to cooperate with you maybe even collaborate if this will work but I think it's also important for you, you to stay disciplined to working on yourself right now. So if this is a love situation, let's say it's a twin flame reading, we do a lot of those here. So let's say, you know, it's you needing to stay disciplined with setting your boundaries and also keeping, you know, keep doing the shadow work, keep working on yourself, keep working on your coins and becoming self-reliant, focusing on yourself, working on yourself and not needing anybody. So that's what you need to stay disciplined at here. Now, again, if it's a career, obviously that could come into play too. So we have, it's funny because we had trapped eight of arrows come out. And I, if I were to put it down where the next card would go, it would be right under the stuck energy. So maybe this person was, was stuck or trapped in a situation. If this is a love situation, maybe they were stuck or trapped with somebody else and they couldn't get out. Um, but on the bottom here, I'm noticing this master of hearts deep. So if it is a love situation, this person could be in their feels, deep in their emotions, deep in their feels. The eight of arrows would be the eight of swords. And so that would be, that would be like somebody who does feel stuck, but it's all up in their head. And notice though this, Granted, this is a love-themed tarot, but there's like a heart on this um, 
spider. So there might've been a reason why I picked this deck up. So it very well could be a love reading, but I'm gonna leave it open just in case it does resonate with somebody else for, um, like if it doesn't resonate with you for a love reading, that maybe it resonates for a career reading or something like that. So again, just to reiterate, we have um, karma coming in to balance the scales. And I think that's why somebody will be opening up and wanting to cooperate or collaborate with you. It's gonna be very stimulating interactions. In the past, I feel like the stuck energy, I mean, if that's the case, the stuck energy must be in the past. So I feel like the stuck energy is in the past but you're gonna be recovering. So I feel like somebody felt trapped in this situation. So either they were with somebody else and couldn't approach you and they were stuck, or maybe you felt like you had to make a decision and you were stuck. You were kind of frozen because you didn't know what decision to make. But the eight of arrows suggests it's all up in your head, that there is something you can do. So maybe meditate here to try and recover the situation, to help with the situation, meditate to get answers from the divine on what the solution is to getting out of your head here or, you know, being able to move forward. But you also need to stay disciplined towards working on being independent here, working on your coin, working on your, your shadow work even, your glow up, whatever that means to you. There is going to be renewal with this situation. There's going to be recovery, but you need to meditate to get the answers how to get unstuck here. So there might be a decision you need to make or somebody else needs to make and you might have felt like you couldn't see the truth here. You couldn't see what to do. So meditate to get the answers to that. Also stay disciplined towards working on yourself and know that this, whatever this situation is, it's going to be renewed. There's gonna be a recovery here. Spirit's gonna come in, Lady Justice to balance the scales. So I'm gonna go into a bonus extended reading before I tell you about that. And if you wanna to learn more about this, this situation. If you think this is for you, first of all, let me know down in the comment section if you think this is for you. Also, if you want to know more about this situation, if you want to find out what's going to happen in the next six months to a year or sooner, we always do timing in the bonus extended, but also just get a lot more, maybe even advice cards, we'll maybe use some law of attraction cards to find out what you can do to assist the situation to help it to come out smoother. Maybe we'll even get some, in the bonus extended reading, get some cards that might clarify for you. For those of you who do go on to watch the extended, um, maybe there'll be some clarity on whether this is career, love, you know, friendship, I don't know, some kind of a, a relationship or a situation that's going to be renewed and recovered. But you need to stay disciplined on working on yourself Somebody's going to be cooperating with you or more cooperative. You're, the scale is going to be balanced. We've got really good news here for you, but exactly what? I'm not sure. So in the bonus extended, we might look into that. We just get a lot more information for you. So if you're wanting to know more about what's coming in for you, uh, go down below, click the link that takes you over to my Patreon. And I'll talk about that in a second. But before I do, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Click the notification bell to be notified when I put out my next video, that way you don't miss any awesome details from Spirit. Make sure to smash that like button and share the video if you can. All of that helps my channel grow, but also helps me to connect to your energy for future readings. So it's a win-win. If you want a personal reading from me, you can get it on my website. It's www.bossasswitch1111.com. That's four ones. So go check out my offerings for personals, but if you wanna watch the rest of this extended, Go down below, click the link that takes you to my Patreon. It is only $5.55 to sign up. And that's not just for this one reading. That actually gets you exclusive, unlimited access to all of the bonus extended readings that I've done up until this point and all of the readings that I do going forward. So it's not just one reading, it's tons and tons and like hundreds of videos where you could have access to the extended information for whatever time period you pay for. So if you pay for a month, then you know, that's, you'll have exclusive access for a month. So you don't have to stay monthly. You can cancel at any time. Although I do truly appreciate those of you who do stay monthly as it helps to support me and this channel and allows me to keep doing these readings for you. So thank you, thank you for um, supporting my mission here to try and, and get out and help as many people, mostly, you know, twin flames as I can. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go to the bonus extended. So meet me there if you wanna know more, if you wanna know timing, like when is this, 
this going to happen? Is this renewal, this recovery of this situation going to happen in the next six months to a year center, or is it farther out? And what, it, what are we even talking about here? Let's get some of that. Um, and you know, like I said, we get some advice cards for what you can do to help the situation to ensure that this recovery or this renewal happens if that's what you want and what else you need to do. So follow me in uh, down to the description box below, click on the link that takes you to my Patreon and you can sign up and instantly get to watch the rest of this reading. So I will meet you there.